Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, using, putting your uh, Firefox profile on um, using a RAM disk. Uh, RAM disk is basically, um, it uses your computer memory to make a uh, local disk appear in your computer, which you can use as a disk. Uh, first thing I recommend is to go on to the internet and download a program which I have on the desktop called Moz MOZ Backup. And Moz Backup, there's a few different developer sites you can download from download.com. I'll, I'll pick the first link, select download, and download the install program. Once you have that, it'll put an icon on your desktop called Moz Backup. You simply click or double click, click next, choose backup or profile, browse where you want it, I'll choose desktop. Next, you can password protect if you like, I'll select no, and I'll just leave everything at um, check defaults. Um, this will back up pretty much everything that you have customized with Firefox, all your extensions, your passwords history, cookies, etc. So I'll click next and done. And on the desktop you can see that we have a file. So if you open Moz Backup again, restore, browse, overwrite your existing profile, finish. And as you can see that I have the, still the same interface and everything. So it works quite well, actually. Okay, so we have that. We have our backup, Moz backup. Now we have to get a RAM disk. Um, this one is from Data RAM. So we'll go back to the Internet and RAM, RAM, disk, Data RAM, RAM disk memory.dataram.com products and services ram disk okay when you get to the page select download and it says windows 7 windows vista xp and server edition and it's freeware up to four gigs of disk size which is plenty for what we want to do so select download and it's only three megabytes. So I'll close this because I already have it downloaded. We'll set it up. Accept. Next. 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 Installs fairly quick. It's not. It's not very big. And click finish. Now we have a nice new program entry. RAM disk configuration utility. So we'll open that. You can close the little ad at the back. Um, so in the settings window, uh, since I don't, I'm using a virtual machine, there isn't a lot of memory I can play with, but I'll try 128 megabytes, FAT32, and the, the strange thing about this is the load and the save. At startup, sometimes it'll ask you something funny. We'll see. Okay, starting RAM disk. It takes a minute for the driver to kick in. I'll pause this while this is uh, booting up. Okay, um, <clears throat> turns out I had to do a, a restart of the system. So it says RAM disk started up successfully. I checked the load in the load and save settings, load disk image at startup and save disk image at shutdown. Don't click auto save. And if you want, you can save the image now. And that will appear by default in your home root directory as RAM disk image. Now, another thing to ensure that this is working, I'll close this, 
is go to your computer. You can see we have RAM disk here. And I've created two files, temp and test. Um, let's we'll create another okay bitmap image. And what I'll do is close that. And again, I'll, I'm going to restart and see if that, because this is a good test to make sure that it's going to keep your uh, profiles each time you reboot. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, um, back up and I'll go open your computer and your new disk and you can see the image file has been saved. So if you want, you can select all and delete. Now, the task at hand, uh, in Windows XP, your Mozilla profile is in, we'll go to my computer, either from desktop or the start menu, C drive, documents and settings, your username, application data, Mozilla, Firefox, and here we have profiles and it's only three megabytes right now and a profiles information file so you want to open that minimize and we're going to open our RAM disk and we'll just take our profiles and drag them over to our RAM disk so they get copied over Don't close either window yet. Now this is very important. Um, what you do here is profile zero, so it's the only profile on the computer. And where it says is relative, make sure you put that equal zero. That's very important. And you have to make note of your path of profiles, which is E. So it changes to E dot forward slash profiles take out the backslash forward slash and then the name of your profile that you dragged over into the RAM disk and you file save file exit exit and you can close this down now just to, since I'm on a virtual machine I'm just going to take a chance and it's just going to delete this profile directory okay We'll close that. Start Firefox. I'm not sure. Yep, there we are. Okay. So now you have Firefox running in a RAM disk. And over time, you'll see that it's uh, beneficial uh, to run in your profile as the as you get more bookmarks and uh, more sites and more add-ons. Um, it'll speed things up quite a bit. Uh, and one more thing I wanted to mention is the directory for Windows X, Windows Vista and Windows 7 is C, user, username, roaming, Mozilla, Firefox, profiles. I'll put this in the description tab so you don't have to keep guessing where these uh, directories are. So that's basically it. Okay? So um, have fun with that and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a little Papier Firefox uh, to run. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.